Ja, så ska jag jag ska presentera engelsk men spårsmålen kan komma in också förgåvligt. Så uh, this will be a brief introduction to Mizano. It's an uh, operating system. Uh, there is always some action going on in uh, operating systems, but uh, I call this uh, less typical OS because uh, both among uh, amateur development and community development and uh, commercial systems like Google or Samsung trying to push, uh, they all tend to be uh, classic in a way in a choice of tools and uh, languages they use. So uh, typically, uh, uh, there is perception that uh, it's not really uh, possible to make an uh, operating system completely with a dynamic language, with uh, garbage collected memory, and um, at some point, for some stages of development, you have to resort to either uh, C or similar language that lets you set up uh, uh, memory translation tables for uh, virtual memory translation and uh, uh, use memory addressable I/O and things like that. Uh, but uh, this system is in fact written entirely in Common Lisp without a single line of C as far as I know. And um, um, for a uh, yeah, very experimental uh, amateur driven system. It actually supports two architectures. It's, uh, it runs on um, x86 and on ARM, both 64 bits only, because it's a new system. It doesn't support legacy hardware. So uh, um, it's a single user system, which is unusual since, uh, I don't know, MS DOS. Uh, uh, but it's not that kind of system. Uh, it's actually uh, reasonably uh, hard to shoot yourself in the foot from within your uh, process unless you really aim to. But of course, with dedication, it's neither is hard. I mean, uh, it's uh, not a kind of system meant for uh, safety, despite being written in a safe programming language. You know. And, um, reasonably compact it's uh, 100k log for core system which is basically compiler and runtime and memory management system and uh, totals to uh, 340 uh, if you take together all glue code and uh, community projects that uses and some applications that's written for this system it's largely championed by one guy, uh, he's doing it for eight years, and uh, there is a small community around it, but it's mostly an on and off uh, efforts. Uh, majority of the system is written by one person only, so it's also remarkable what, how much you can do given enough time and dedication alone. So um, first, a bit about the build process of this system. Um, it has its own build environment. It's a uh, project with a bunch of, well, shell scripts that allow you to fetch and uh, uh, install different submodules used in the system. At, and from uh, from that part, you start with uh, building a so-called cold image, which is sort of a foothold for operating system to uh, boot up initial most necessary part on uh, target hardware and uh, you use a host co host compiler on a uh, build host to build that image that you run on a target system once this image is done um, you can bring it up and it connects over network to a file server running on host system to fetch Lisp source files that uh, remain to be built for the system. It's typically applications and uh, yeah, community projects and uh, 
anything not core. And uh, that completes the, boot, the, the build. The, uh, Mizano doesn't really have any own uh, traditional file system on it, so uh, what happens when you build a system, you uh, dump it on disk, you make a world image, um, so you sort of take a snapshot of the system. So uh, you skip the whole uh, lot of work with that. Uh, okay, so uh, I can run a cold build just so you... Uh, 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 no, okay. I should run it uh, and build actually. So uh, not much to see, but except of a lot of cross compilation going on. Um, yeah, it's a uh, it's a uh, system for hackers, in a way. So um, after that completes, uh, I'm not going uh, any further with the build process because it can take a few hours to build complete system in the worm stage uh, over the network. But uh, anyway, I have al already one system pre-built. We're going to have a look on. So you can see the boot process of. Uh, System. No, you aren't. I'm not sure if it's. Has anything to do with resolution? No. Okay, but we can try another one. It's a different snapshot than I did. Well, this one runs. So it's a. Uh, well, I'll make it larger, maybe. No. <laughs> Not enough video memory. Oh well. Well, uh, it's not the image I was going to show the test on, but you can see it's a feature full system. It has a background image, <laughs> it has icons and uh, applications with these icons, so it has a graphical user interface. Um, you can run uh, network applications on it like IRC it doesn't have slack unfortunately but uh, that's the next thing <laughs> yeah I'll get to that <laughs> it's in the bonus material but uh, it's a Lisp system first and foremost and uh, most things were uh, well uh, written in Lisp so uh, has its own uh, sort of file explorer where you can uh, see the source of the system itself and uh, shall we see yeah, it's a bit different image that I was going to demo but anyway yeah. yeah it's time well it's the right place if you want to hack time but we don't <laughs> Uh, so as you see it has its own Emacs actually and you can run REPL in it so it's a uh, oh, I need to switch keyboard to Norwegian you know uh, this system has um, internalization support so it supports Norwegian keyboard but on Apple with Norwegian keyboard it's a bit or should I say nah. 
yeah, we are there. It's well, courage. Uh, they changed the layout from an original standard to something not really mapped to either Norwegian or whatever else. But uh, okay. Mm, where was our file manager? So we see. Well, I can. Uh, I'm not sure if it will work here. I can try. Um, showing uh, a change of live system of rather core functionality within the running system without any uh, like rebuilding the whole world as it would typically take in Linux or other traditional operating system so uh, yeah we can try to do a packet tracer a lot of speed dump for example by uh, capturing raw uh, packet input and uh, displaying it. <coughs> Shall we see? Now this one is not low level enough. We need to go to drivers. I think it's here. So there should be a part that handles. Yes, receive packet is the part. Um, so what it gets, it uh, receives uh, packet data from hardware queue and uh, puts it together with uh, data of network interface uh, up to Ethernet stack. So that's about the right place to do a simple capture. Um, first, I'm going to make a, a stream where we will display our packet output. Because if you uh, insert just print statements and system code, it's going to push output to debug console, which is serial console, which has to be attached to. Uh, in emulator have to be attached to raw file and yeah it can be captured but it's not very lispy uh, this editor has no uh, completion or anything like that so it's really back to basics put the package Shall we try to compile it? And of our signal, I guess. Parents, parents hit me. I'm used to parent balancing in uh, Emacs, but. Well, let's read the package in the repo. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we have a stream, so we can try. Ah, keyboard. Not in the system, but I uh, can see if resolution on uh, projector display can be changed. It will break the things. Okay, okay, then uh, you have to suffer a bit. So, uh, am I out of the focus? Yeah.
In MX you can, but in MED you can't. So, uh, yeah, we have a pop-up stream that can display something, at least. I'm a bit nervous about this because the image I was going to demo got corrupted for whatever reason. <laughs> so, uh, so this is a bit freewheeling demo uh, from now on. So, uh, shall we see? Uh, where was it? Where? Network card, right? So now we need some way to uh, <coughs> print the packet. Uh, what we're going to do is we uh, look for the packet and uh, if the byte is in uh, visible range it can be interpreted as character we printed and otherwise we just print the dot. So I guess, and uh, when we do, yeah, then. No, I guess. Then we print that. Character or alternatively, we print. I just have to hunt for symbol. Yeah, we print a dot. Now I have to count parents like in uh, good old days. So, uh, two, three, four is it? Is it? Yeah, it didn't complain, so it must be okay. So here, uh, uh, we can try printing it. Yeah, so uh, it returns packet data and the nick. So packet data comes first, means it's CDR info. Like that. And we put a new line after the packet. Huh? Uh, not like a no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not web lisp, you know, so the... <laughs> I don't know, maybe it can be ported to Wasm in the browser. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, I think, well, I compiled it at least, so I changed the driver part of the network stack now. So uh, <laughs> now well, that that that's an upside with single user system, <laughs> and uh, it's a system. It actually runs in the same ring, which is you know a big no no in a modern um, in a modern operating system. You're supposed to have separation. You run uh, dangerous things in ring zero user things in ring one and super dangerous things in ring minus one or minus two and depending uh, some Intel management engine or something like that Minix yeah. and, uh, and here uh, you would think it well it's dangerous but in a managed language you don't really blow uh, your memory easily uh, between the system code and the uh, user code unless you mean it or do really really something stupid 
so uh, yeah but okay let's see if we uh, manage to capture the trace so let's see yeah here we have uh, IRC open so we can well try connecting to IRC Where else, right? Um, yeah, Windows pops at least. I'm not sure what's to wait on. Oh yeah, it's going actually. But I don't see much visible text here. Oh yeah, you can see we capture actually the packet data and it can be reasonably readable so that works okay thanks thanks but uh, features I think uh, well I shown all of the features uh, one remarkable thing this system has really advanced uh, garbage collector it's a generational uh, GC which is typically a uh, you don't really have those in uh, amateur projects uh, and, uh, in many popular uh, programming languages scripting languages it, they either use reference counting or simple uh, mark and sweep garbage collectors but uh, uh, development has recently been uh, focused on performance a lot so that helps with performance so uh, system is able to uh, play video I don't really have any video on this image so I can show you but uh, it can do that or uh, uh, we have uh, SIMD instructions appearing now in uh, available to applications so you can probably do some uh, uh, SIMD accelerated code if you want to write a video codec uh, I haven't done that yet, but uh, so all the video decoding right now is running in a normal, uh, straightforward CPU uh, implementations, serial code. But that works. Yeah, and there's a bonus material as uh, already was asked. Uh, Harry made the um, backend for LLVM that translates. Uh, the targets common lisp so what you can do is you can compile a common lisp uh, C application or I don't know maybe rust application and get the uh, lisp code at the, at the output <laughs> so uh, he already ported SDL and since uh, with um, SDL you can yeah run games actually I think we can well try that one. Is it gonna work? I'm not sure. Yeah, it's gonna work, I think. So uh, it's uh, reasonably fast, even in an emulated machine in in uh, inside a really skinny uh, uh, MacBook and uh, cross compile it from C to Lisp. It's actually uh, <laughs> usable, you see. I'm not. I'm not gonna play it, it's been a couple of decades since last time, but uh, it's your doom. You can feel GC pauses sometimes, but uh, <laughs> that gives you a break. <laughs> Dos prompt is not waiting for us, but. Uh, <laughs> Yes, anyway, I think that was about it.